Welcome back to the love course. Why do I do this, do this course? Have any of you ever taken the time to wonder, or have you figured out yet why I do this course? Now, you know all, you are some very smart people. I am not talking to a room full of those that are lacking intellect. However, just in case you have not figured out why I am doing this course, let me tell you, this course is for you. You, the hero to the cardholder. It's not about the company. It's not about the job. It is about and for you. So, love. Access to Power, Part 2, The Already, Always Listening. Love is at the very core of why you are a hero to the cardholder. Your love for making a difference gives you extraordinary power when it comes to being of service. Your being a TCP, Threat Sykes, is a natural expression or manifestation of your love for making a difference. Wherever you are or whatever you do, your natural love for people will manifest. Sykes, Lowe's, and Synchrony Bank is fortunate and blessed you are on their team. We started an inquiry that will have your VOC scores up off the roof and your QCAL soar through the heavens. Last town hall, we touched on the filters we listen or hear conversations. We are going to deepen those distinctions further by inquiring into our already, always ways of listening. A barrier that keeps us from connecting with our cardholders, our people in general, is the filter we listen through, the yellow sunglasses. Remember, with yellow sunglasses, if you put on glasses that have a yellow lens, when you first put them on and you walk outside, everything looks yellow. But as you continue throughout the day, continuously wearing the glasses, never taking them off, everything in your world no longer looks yellow, but is yellow. And here we are back to the current world. The filter you listen through will by default create the current world of the conversation between you and another. If the current world is strange or difficult, everyone will experience a level of strangeness or difficulty. If the current world is one of love and service, everyone will experience love and service in some form. Our already, always well of listening is the filter we listen from during a conversation. It is always there in the background, and it is usually, usually so ingrained we stop noticing it. Remember, yellow sunglasses. We forget we'll wear them. Already, always listening. Here's an example. I'm a veteran, so I used to be in the Army. And when I was in the Army, at one of my units, there was a female sergeant that I always felt like was mean, and I always felt like she was picking on me and she didn't like me. In my world, I felt like she was picking on me or she was being harsher towards me than anybody else. She would say, this sergeant would say to me sometimes, she'd say, Miss Taplin, Officer Taplin, your hair is hanging off the collar. Fix that ponytail. Miss Taplin, your fingernails are too long. You need to cut those nails down. They're not in policy. So I would, every time it seemed like, every time I would just say hi to her or just speak to her, it was always followed or met with, my greeting was met with, a, in my eyes, a complaint or a harsh picking at me. And in my world, it was because she didn't like me. 
Then I noticed that if I spoke to this sergeant and my hair was not hanging off my collar or if my fingernails were not too long if they seemed to be within policy, if she didn't seem to have anything to say, she would actually just speak. So what was occurring in my world was, to me, was someone that didn't like me. But in essence, she really was just doing her job, and that was her way of doing it. So the power and recognizing or distinguishing and already listening is you have a choice to take back your power versus habits and machinery running the show. When your child runs, when your child runs to you excitedly about their last discover, about their latest discovery, what conversation is right there as they are speaking? Is an automatic listening? Is it a newly created listening that connects you and the child? How does any of this relate to your job? Think about it. Wherever you are, that's where you happen to be. You will be you and would impact one area impacts the other. So here's our chat room assignment. Everyone in chat right now, write an already always listening or filter that automatically jumps up when you are providing service to the cardholders. Example. A cardholder says to you, you people, my listening is, this is going to be a tough call. <laughs> the love word, already, always listening. List these categories, everyone. Work, self, family, relationship, and romance. Under each category, write, where is the presence of love missing, or not, where I want it to be, and start your list. Under each item, write, what are my already, always way of listening? In other words, what are your yellow sunglasses? What is your filter? Next, write, what conversation am I? willing to let go or create newly so that love would be present or empowered. Every day until the next town hall, add to your list. Each day, choose someone on your list where the presence of love has been missing. Communicate with them and have a conversation that restores the presence of love. Being a hero feels good. <laughs> Because in your heart of hearts, you know who you are and what you gave, and you are proud of yourself. You wear your cape well. 